Hello everyone and welcome to this week's quick tip tutorial. This one's going to be more along the lines of freelancing and failure and success in the world of programming. More specifically, I want to be talking about being humble and being wrong as a programmer. Now this is something that I've had to kind of ignore at times and really focus on at other times because as someone who makes tutorials for people teaching you the methods, I mean, there are often many methods to do things in programming, which makes it difficult, uh, but sometimes I feel an increased responsibility to, uh, you know, act like a certain way is right, or sometimes I feel an increased responsibility to apologize for mistakes, make updated videos, and things like that. So today I want to talk about kind of how all of this ties into programming, being humble as a programmer, being wrong as a programmer, and how to move forward um, in any of these circumstances. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, all the other kind of stuff I teach on this channel, help out others, have good conversations, and much more. And also down below, you can become a member or supporter of, on the YouTube channel, which helps us financially, as well as gives you a few cool perks like badges, emojis, Discord status, polls, and much more. And also down below, there are links to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange to see some other cool stuff I make. And I've been saying this for a while, and the screens look the same. There are things coming out. It's just, you know, after the failure I've had before, things, things have to be a little more thought out and polished. So... We're going to be talking about being humble and being wrong as a programmer. Uh, the reason I'm at this screen is to show you. I have a lot of videos on various topics. Over 179 tutorials in my After Effects scripting tutorials uh, playlist. 40 in the Premiere. Uh, 110 in just the scripting quick tips. And that's just regarding uh, scripting. I also, of course, have plugin tutorials, USB plugins, um, and a whole slew of other stuff. I have... A lot of videos on the channel and to put it in perspective total uh, I have 381 videos on the channel there's been more than that things have been deleted over time and as I've gone more towards programming obviously that's changed but out of 381 tutorials I have made a lot of mistakes in a lot of videos not just like teaching people the wrong way but teaching people a slower way or things like that and there are often comments on the channel that say, hey, actually there's this easier way to do this, or why don't you use a ternary operator instead of all these if-else statements and a whole bunch of other things that I'd really never heard of before. And part of that is just being humble and understanding in something like programming or something like art or something that you're learning. And even if you've been doing it for almost 10 years like me, uh, there's still always going to be stuff you have to learn. There's going to be stuff that you missed in your knowledge. Even if you go to university to learn programming, um, where you'll learn pretty much from the ground up how these concepts work, you're still going to have gaps in your knowledge and you need to be ready to have yourself humbled at any given point where, you know, I have basically only recently started using classes in programming where you can have an object like a car and that car has properties maybe like the passengers or the color of the car for example but concepts like this i have not used in programming but a few times in over 10 years and only recently have i been like you know this is actually a pretty useful method i've seen a other lot of other people use it i've used some other people's code bases that use it and i should probably use it myself so after 10 years, I'm finally implementing some basic programming practices into my workflow. But you also have to realize there are times where you kind of have to be ignorant and just get stuff done. Because if I spend all of my time on a project trying to uh, iron out these gaps in my knowledge or learn something new on the job, then I'm obviously going to take a lot longer for the job or I'm just not going to get it done in time. And that's a big issue, especially if you have a time crunch or you really don't want to have to like speed up the process and try and learn all this stuff. It is best, of course, to learn at your own speed, which I love to just binge topics sometimes. But a lot of times I don't have the time to learn some of the basics that I probably should have. And as someone who's self-taught and didn't go to college for programming or take really any formal classes outside of HTML and CSS in school, um, there's a lot of gaps in my knowledge. I hope I'm not saying the same thing over and over too much, but you will have times where you have to be humble. You have to know that 
I've either not done something correctly for all this time and I've made the mistake in every single project and every single code base I've sent out to someone or sent out in an actual project. There's so many projects I have out there with, with code that I would find disgusting nowadays. But you need to always be ready to just say, okay, that was the past. There's this better thing out and I need to learn it or implement it or start implementing it in all my work. Now, there's also the side of being wrong about things, not just not knowing certain concepts that hurts, of course, and is embarrassing. But being wrong about things is probably one of my biggest fears, considering I have a discord community and a YouTube community who are all learning from me and doing the same thing as me. And I probably should have shouted this out earlier, but we are at 15k subscribers. And I have over 15,000 of you people watching, obviously, that's an arbitrary number based on actual view counts. But with that amount of people, it makes it harder and harder for me to not be like, am I making a mistake in this video? Do I need to ignore whether I think I'm making a mistake in a video? Am I wrong about things? Yes, all the time. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, there are lots of times when people ask fundamentally simple questions. And before I can get around to it, I see answers where I say, I guess you can do things that way. Um, I have never taught it that way. Um, and other people are obviously for coming from different languages, different mindsets. So they're going to bring something different to the table that I can learn from. I can be humble. I can be wrong. Um, but obviously there are going to be times where I have to ignore and be ignorant of these kind of things um, in order to get work done or in order to make videos. And a good example of me being wrong and humbled would be regarding uh, floating and dockable scripts. Since the beginning, I've kind of thought there was two ways to make uh, a script. You can make a floating script or a docking script, and a docking script was super complicated. Um, but as time has gone on, um, I've seen other tutorials gradually come out or other people help people in the forums saying, hey, this is actually a second and third way you can make a dockable script and make it much easier. But me having learned one way and one way only for maybe eight years before this community even started blossoming um, to have people have this input. I was stuck in my way of thinking there's only one possible way to make a dockable script. There's only one possible way to make a floating script. So moral of the story is you're going to be wrong as a programmer. You might not find out until way after it's too late. You might be embarrassed. That's going to be okay. You've got to learn from the embarrassment. The embarrassment is the fuel to push you to learn from your mistake and never make that mistake again or implement the new feature you learned. Or you're going to be um, humbled in a way because you know that you're not the best. There's plenty of people to learn from. And me, even as like a, I guess you could say YouTube tutor, um, this humbling process is good and as much as it hurts sometimes. When you have an experience like a failure product release, that just stings. Of course, you're going to learn lessons, but that just stings. You don't learn much from it other than, yeah, I made a bad product. With coding, you're actually learning something and you're going to apply it the next time you start a project. You don't have to wait months and months or years to make another product, which doesn't have the same mistake as before. When it's a coding mistake, you can fix that mistake immediately. And that's one of the cool things about coding is not only can code be like self-fulfilling and create something from nothing and you can solve it and fix things. Um, the, the mistakes you make with it are going to also kind of fix themselves whether you want to or not, because you'll be embarrassed or humbled and want to fix those mistakes. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member in our Discord server, where a lot of these mistakes are found and revealed to me, uh, make sure you do so in the description down below. You can join us and get help with scripting extensions plugins, uh, correct any of my mistakes, which I do highly appreciate. And also, if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can become a member or a supporter. Link for that is down below. And this comes with cool perks like badges, emojis, Discord status, and also check out the links down below to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange, where you can see some other cool stuff I make. Thanks again for watching and thanks to you 15,000 subscribers. We'll see you next time.